Now we're bringing you a closer look at President Obama's plan to dramatically expand the number of people eligible for overtime pay. The president says this affects 5 million Americans. Locally, Senator Sheldon Whitehouse believes 18,000 workers could soon see a major pay increase. New at 5.30, Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen has more on how it will impact you. We are all President Obama proposed a new plan for Americans, one that'll have a dramatic impact on the ocean state. I mean, now we get to see actual pay for actual work performed instead of what amounts to free labor. Mike Arujo with One Fair Wage Rhode Island supports the proposal. Now, under the current rules, any full-time employee earning more than $23,000 a year can be exempt from overtime pay if they're called a manager. The president's proposal would change that, so any salaried worker making up to $50,000 $400 a year can now earn overtime pay. And they might be getting a solid, what seems like a solid wage or solid salary at the beginning, but at the end of the day, they can be making as little as $5, $6 an hour. Because, five. Of, because of all those extra because hours of all that those, they're What amounts to free hours. So to put this all into perspective, let's say a Rhode Islander makes $33,280 a year. That's $16 an hour. Under the current rules, if they're a manager, they make no overtime. And if they work on average 50 hours a week under the president's new proposal, those extra 10 hours at time and a half pay means their salary jumps from $33,280 to $45,760, a more than $12,000 raise. That's alarming for business groups like the National Retail Federation. You may get overtime, but you may lose access to salary and benefits uh, along the way. That was Steve Nielsen reporting. Now, Republicans plan on fighting the proposal. Any new changes would not go into effect until next year.